Hi, uh, Al here from Race Louvers. Today we're going to get into our CFD testing that we recently had done on our fender louvers. We did our curved over the tire, our upper rear, and our lower rear fender louvers. Okay, CFD is a simulation of the real world. So in order to have the best uh, outcome for our project here, um, we just didn't rely on the external scans of the car only. We had the external scans, we had underbody scans, wheel well scans, front grille scans, and also the engine bay scans so that we can simulate the flow over the car, under the car, and actually through the car um, to get the best or most accurate uh, CFD data. So if you see uh, CFD data out on the internet and they only use external scans or they attempt to CAD model the engine bay, for example, instead of scanning it, uh, or even if the part is tested in free stream air and not on a car, uh, just realize that that data is going to be um, very inaccurate. So looking at the data, we have our over the tire, rear lower, and our rear upper. And blue is the fender liner intact with just a small hole cut in it for the louver itself. Um, and then orange is uh, no fender liner entirely. So now we know what our uh, coefficient of lift and coefficient of drags are for the three different fender louvers in CFD. We took it a step further and we put the same car uh, with the curve over the tire fender louver in the wind tunnel um, so that we can get actual uh, wind tunnel data on this setup with a uh, hole in the liner and no liner at all. So for maximum downforce uh, setup, we leave the liner, cut a small hole in it for the louver, and then uh, we get about 25 pounds of downforce at 100 miles an hour. For maximum cooling, uh, we remove the front part of the liner, and as you can see, we get a, a small gain in radiator cooling, but we get a significant gain in the oil cooler cooling. And I should note that that oil cooler is in the front corners of the car and it feeds into the fender wells. Now we're going to take it even a step further. So now that we know the CFD data on all three fender louvers, and we know the actual wind tunnel data of the over the tire louver, we can extrapolate um, the data, wind tunnel data, on the uh, upper rear and lower rear uh, fender louvers. So I should note um, that Generally speaking, for most cars, the over the tire and the upper uh, rear fender louver uh, are generally about the same size. Uh, however, the rear lower um, fender louver varies in size from car to car. Some cars have a big fender uh, behind the tire, some don't. So we list the largest louver and then we list the smallest louver for the rear lower position. Um, so that you can get an idea of how the three um, function in relation to each other. So, generally speaking, the over the tire, uh, upper rear, and our medium size uh, rear lower fender louver all function approximately the same. All right, as you can see, this was a really cool project. Um, I want to thank Kyle Forster from JKF Aero and also the guys at Aerodyne Wind Tunnel uh, for great data, great experience. Um, all this information uh, will be in PDF on our Race Louvers website. Um, also, for those of you that don't know, uh, myself, uh, Race Louvers, and AJ Hartman Aero 
have joined forces to form a new company called Track Arrow Consulting. So I highly encourage you to check out that website. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.